Good morning, guys. It's February the 14th. It's 25 degrees out here. And this is the high for today. It's saying tonight's supposed to get down in the teens. Tomorrow, the high is only going to be 19. And tomorrow night, low down to 7 degrees. That's awfully cold for this southern boy. Starting to have a little freezing rain right now. We don't get much snow down here, but just stuff like this is freezing rain. It'll freeze on the power lines and breaks our power lines, and we can be out without electricity for days before they get around to fixing our power lines out here in the country. But I'm finna check my chickens and we're gonna go over here and check this temperature controlled cold frame I built, see how it's doing. I haven't give y'all an update with Today and the next few days will be a good update on showing how the little fella works. You see, I put that heat lamp for him in here. And I'm checking my water. That little water bowl doing its job. There it is. The heated pet bowl. So it's doing its job because it... 25 degrees right now. I don't know how low it got last night. I didn't look this morning. But I'm glad I purchased that little heat bowl. And I just put that heat lamp right there. Chickens, they can get over warm up under it. It's cold this morning, ain't it, Rooster? Tell them about it. So I'm going to go ahead and say snuggled up up in here. I came out last night at 10 o'clock. I thought about my rosemary. I wanted to get it covered up, try to save it. But my parsley and oregano and thyme and dill and all that has made it all through the winter, through the little snow and soft freezes we've had. But I don't know if it's going to make it through the hard freeze now. Y'all can see it's showing it's like 22 degrees. So now we're gonna go check on my cold frame. This is my temperature control cold frame. You'll look back on the video. I'll try to attach it above on how to build it. But when it's when it's well it gets below freezing like this, I cover it with plastic just to help it keep the heat in so the heat lamp won't have to run as much. But this kind of temperature I'm sure it's running full time. But let's take a look inside and see what the, what the temperature is. Alright. Let's Y'all can see the temperature inside here is 68 to 70 degrees. That's good, and it's 22 degrees out here. There's an update on my seeds I started a few days ago for my cold frame seed starting experiment. Just starting them outdoors strictly in this cold frame. All of the, my tomatoes ain't coming, but just about all of my planted in there coming up. Anyway, guys, just want to give y'all an update on how the cold frame's working. It's a cold day here on this February the 14th, 2021. High today was 25, and that was early this morning. It's down to around 20 right now. Gonna have some cold days coming up next two or three days. Tomorrow night, low 19, and Monday night to say a low of seven degrees. 
but I can't just stay in the house. So I have my plants here that I started planting. I have my seedlings here that I planted January the 16th. And you see them. They're getting a little crowded, the tomatoes overshadowing my bell peppers. But it's time to plant them up. You start seeing they getting the roots starting to grow around there, so I need to get them out and cup them up. I'm going to be moving my tomatoes up into these solo cups. I was trying to wash the old farmer loma neck when they say an our average frost date is and all that good stuff but i think i done planted my tomatoes here and seeded them a little too early so i'm gonna go on and plant them up into these 18 ounce cups because i got a feeling my tomatoes is gonna be pretty good size before before it gets to where i can plant them this year But I got me a little sheet here when I planted these to keep them straight. We're going to be planting up. Put these glasses on so I can see here a little better. I got two Roma VFs. Four Cherokee. Three Arkansas Traveler. Three Brandywine. Three Early Girls. Three Dials. And two, I just wrote down here, White Tomato. It's something ice. It's supposed to be a white tomato. And then I got two of the green zebra stripes and two of the black pearl. And then I got two that's some kind of yellow. All I wrote was yellow on my little chart here. But I, I had to get my book out and write down the proper name. Two tiny Tims. And then I got, that's 18, 20. Bell peppers, two different varieties. Fool your hot peppers, habanero peppers. But I got 20 pepper plants in here. Four black beauty eggplants. About eight cabbage. Six cauliflower and six Brussels sprouts. And they all look like they're doing good, but these little Brussels sprouts right here on the end. And I guess they doing good. They they grown pretty long. They just got long and lanky, but I figured that's cause they was started indoors in 70 degree temperature where Brussels sprouts are cold weather, so probably why they got a little long. Cauliflower's kind of the same way. But it, it, it made some big leaves and looking good. So I've been to start getting these potted up. Then I'm going to pot them up in these cups and I'm going to take them back in there and I got room. I'm going to put them under my grow lights and indoors. Well, how many of you guys ever seen this before? I'm trying to warm my potting soil so I can pot my seedlings up to a bigger pot. Potting soil's outside froze. Well, it don't matter if it's outside or not, it can be in this year and it's been froze. So, I poured some hot water in some of it over there to moisten it up and warm it up. And it's still, I think, too cold, so I'm gonna heat some of it up on this burner. And I'm going to mix it with my old soil. I'm scared. I'm scared if I plant straight and that the soil's too cold. Even though I'm going to move them back, take them back indoors under the lights. I'm afraid that soil's too cold. I know it was too cold, but it froze like a rock. Yeah, and that's getting warm. That's getting warm enough now. I'm going to mix it with my other soil. Get it to some warm temperature. 
Thought I'd show y'all guys that a bit you ain't never seen it. Especially in the south. What I like about these cups here is I can take these Sharpies and write on them. I just take a cup, stack them all on top of each other, and take a drill and just drill a hole down through the bottom of them. You can do 15 or 20 cups at one time, depends on how long your drill bit is. But I like these cups. You can take a Sharpie and you can just write on there what tomato it is, what plant it is, the date you started it. got my potting soil right here. Let's get started here. I gotta keep this straight. So I'm gonna do my Roma BF tomatoes. I got two of them. I'm make sure my chart's lined up right to where I started the right corner and not start down here picking them up back. I don't want no surprises when I plant my garden and I think I'm planting a Cherokee and I end up with a Roma tomato when it gets big enough. But I got to, I got it marked right here with a piece of tape. I'm gonna start the top left hand corner, that's my Romas. While I'm putting these up, probably gonna have y'all a little song playing Cause I'm finna turn this heater on and it makes some racket and warm it back up in here. Temperature's getting a little too cool for me. This is some early girls. Guys, when I'm planting these seedlings up to a bigger pot and they tall like that, I'll plant them deep and then cover them up about another inch with soil. And then when you plant them in the garden, I even plant them deeper than that and pull some of them bottom leaves off Plant them deep in the soil, cause a tomato, it'll make roots outside the stem and make you a stronger tomato plant. Well, that's why I'm putting them as deep down in these cups. They'll start making more root, make a stronger plant. In the next couple of weeks, you'll see when I do an update on them in there on them grow lights, they'll be a lot prettier, stockier plant than they are right now. But even though they were started under grow lights, indoors, started under one of these 72 cell trees. That's why I got so much in one tree. If I had the room, I wouldn't start so much in one tray like this. But I ain't got but so much room indoors. <laughs> Stack them cups all up and drill one time through several of them. Matter of fact, I just go on and take a whole stack of them here. You can do them like that right there and it'll go through. Let's see how many it goes through. That's a short drill bit there. I got a long drill bit. Well, it went through all them. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 
That's 15 cups that that bit went through. And that's about a four inch bit. So where was I at? I'm on my dial to measure. I ain't never planted no dial. If y'all ain't never seen Mr. Leon's gardening channel, y'all need to check him out. That old man is a good fella. He forgets more every night about gardening when he goes to sleep than I'll ever know about gardening. And I see him talking about on one of his videos about these dial tomatoes. And I'm going to try to raise them to some the way he does by putting a wick pot on top of a barrel. And y'all see that as the growing season goes by, what I'm going to try to do. And I figure he, he's done done it long enough. He knows which tomato does the best. And, the reason for using them to do that. So that's what I'm going to do with a couple of these. Set a wick pot on top of a burrow, plant them, and just let them hang over as they grow. And these tomatoes here, he says they won't grow as... If you planted them in the ground, they wouldn't be as tall, but planting them like that, they won't grow as long, so that way they won't touch the ground. early girls, I want them because I don't want they supposed to get ripe early. I want some tomatoes that'll get ripe earlier than the others. And like them white tomatoes and them green zebra tomatoes, I'm doing all that just because I like to try something different. I personally ain't never seen a white tomato growing on a vine. So I'm going to do it just to do it. Nothing else, it adds a little color to the garden. I got enough to, between my Arkansas Travelers and my Brandywine and my Cherokee and my Roma BFs. That's all the slicers and canning tomatoes we need. So I just like I just want to do something different just to do. You see on my banner, my saying, if you always do what you always done, you always get what you always got. Well, I like trying different things. <laughs> guys that's all of the tomatoes got all my tomatoes parted up to my bigger cups I think I'm gonna take them in the house and get them set under the grow lights then I'll probably continue and plant these pepper plants on up into something a little bigger hey right, guys I got me some more soil heated up mixed up now I'm going to continue to pot up my pepper plants here. Ten bell pepper plants I'm going to plant up. Now all my peppers. I don't, I just put soil right back to the top soil where they already, already come out of the soil. You don't want to, you don't want to put them down under the soil like you do the tomatoes. Like I said, in the tomatoes, they'll make more roots off the side of the stem. The peppers. I guess tomatoes is the only thing I do like that. Happy Valentine's to everyone out there. I 
forgot to tell y'all happy Valentine's. I didn't, I didn't forget to tell my wife Valentine's though. Actually, I got her early. I gave her a little rose yesterday. I learned a long time ago forgetting to tell them happy Valentine's and happy birthday. That gets you put in a doghouse. And it's too cold to get put in a doghouse. <laughs> Hey guys, got me some more soil cooked up. Done a lot of things in my life, but I ain't never had to cook more than no soil on the soil to plant my seedlings in. But, I guess if I wouldn't have left them outside, where was I? Still got three more habaneros to plant. I guess if I wouldn't have left my soil outside, I wouldn't be doing this. Didn't have no intentions of doing this today. But I was in the house looking at my seedlings. I said, them tomatoes, they done getting where they keeping everything else. Shed it out from the grow light. So I'm going to go to the shed and I'm going to plant these up. That's when I discovered my potting soil was froze hard as a brick bat. And just adding warm water wasn't doing the trick. Had to add a little water to get it moist, but it wasn't thawing it out, and I didn't want to stunt my stunt my seedlings and put too much into these. You never know what you might see old poor boy do. I can come up with some. Crazy ideas. Some of them turn out pretty well, though. Some of them don't. Why well, y'all watch me? Y'all can learn what. Watch me. You can learn what not to do a lot of times. Cause I'm gonna keep y'all up to date on. How this all turns out and how good they grow. All right, next up we got some Black Beauty. Some Black Beauty eggplant. Boy, I had two plants this past year. And them things just kept producing. Finally, in about in the October, I ended up just cutting them down. They just kept growing and producing. But I cut them down because I wanted to add some manure to my little in-ground gardening area and get it all tilled in and add some leaves and get them tilled in. So I cut them down We done eat eggplants every way we knew to eat eggplants. So next up, we got six cabbage, six cauliflower, and six Brussels flour. I'm, I got an 18 cell deal here. Got bigger. I'm gonna plant them in all in here. So 
what I'm tending to do. And surely by the time they outgrow this, I hope it's where I can get them out in the beds. They cool with the crop. Some of my beds, now I have them set up. If I can get them planted, now I can't fight no, can't fight no weather like we're having right now. But it's just gonna drop below freezing a little frost one night here and there. I can, I can cover them beds and uncover them the next day. That's one thing I like about raised beds, especially them ones like I got them built two foot off the ground and stuff. I can go out there and cover them. See them frost nights gonna come, cover them. Try to get an early start on a lot of this stuff. Like I said, down here it gets so hot. So quick. I think nowadays, man needs in some of them big high tunes and just do all this planting in them big high tunes. Get some high tunes with some shade cloth so when it gets hot stretch that shade cloth across then you can get an early start. I'm gonna label these right here before I forget. This first row is gonna be cabbage. I said I was going to put these in the cold frame, y'all, but I don't know. I don't know if I need to do that or not with this weather supposed to get like it is with all this ice. Cause if our uh, power lines break and our electricity goes off, my cold frame ain't gonna uh, work. It's gonna be, it's gonna turn to a block of ice. So I think I better take these back in the house. And my experiment in the cold frame, the only way it's going to work is if we don't lose electricity. Because it ain't no sun shining to warm the cold frame up without the built-in heat mounts. And them seeds in there was just experimental purposes. they the same seeds I got growing here. I just done some more just to test out my cold frame. So I think I'm gonna go on and take these into the house. So like I said, the next two or three days, they predicting ice and snow, and usually we get the ice, and when we get the ice, it breaks our power lines, and we ain't got no electricity, and I don't wanna be out there having to take them back out of the cold frame, bringing them in the house. So I'm gonna take them in the house. Then the next few days, after all this harsh weather pass, then I'll take these cabbage and broccoli and cauliflower back out and put them in the cold frame. So thank y'all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Give you something to watch while you're sitting in the cold weather. Follow me along. We'll see how these turn out. See if I can grow anything off of them. And don't never doubt a southern boy. When his soil gets froze, he can cook it and use it to plant with. Thank y'all for watching. God bless.